Hey, how are you? Facebook Live, coming to you live from my home in Chicago. Just making sure this diva light is good. Um, I have not been live in quite some time, I feel like. You guys, I'm sorry, I've been working on some projects. Really exciting stuff coming up. So as you guys are tuning in, make sure to say hello. I'm coming to you live from my home in Chicago. Got little Lola laying here. Um, it's my first time doing a live out here, so I hope I'm, I'm in my family room. I uh, I hope that uh, we just hung this mirror. Can you guys see that? Look at that mirror. Like, is that crazy? Can you guys see that? Pretty cool, huh? We just hung that mirror. It is so freaking heavy, and my husband hung it last night. And I just pray to God. I'm like so nervous it's gonna fall. <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to talk about online marketing today because online marketing is crucial to your marketing, right? Uh, especially as network marketers. So yeah, as you guys are popping in, say hello. What's up, Denise? How are you? Hey, Ken. Um, yeah, sorry you've been a little bit absent. I plan on getting uh, back to doing more live trainings. I've just been really, really, really busy uh, in a really good way. So it's not it's not a bad thing, guys. I have a lot coming your way, a lot of exciting stuff. You're going to see my diva light going back and forth because Lola is biting the wire. So it just it's going to be what it's going to be. Um, make sure you say hello. Make sure you let me know where you're tuning in from. What's up, Michelle? Make sure you tell me where you're tuning in from. And hopefully the weather is much better uh, by you than it is by me. It's raining out, you guys. It stinks. I just want summer. I just want summer. Um, and then let me know if you guys could hear me because I have this like little microphone and I don't have my earbuds in today. Um, but if you are new to who I am, Hi, Julie Burke. I'm the founder of createsuccesswithjulie.com. I'm a network marketer. I am a coach. I... Um, you know, do mentorship. I am a speaker. I kind of like a jack of all trades, but really what I specialize in is helping businesses, helping entrepreneurs and network marketers uh, really shine on social media, bring their business on social media through branding, gaining more visibility, um, teaching, you know, strategies. I teach mindset. I kind of teach you all of it. And so it's, it's one of my passions, right? Um, yes, I sound good. Thank you, Denise. I appreciate it. So if you are new to who I am, um, definitely please let me know. Put new in the comments and so I can give you a shout out. And then when I'm done with the broadcast, you can head over to createsuccesswithjulie.com and there is a free workshop there if you want to check it out um, that talks more in depth about what I'm going to be talking to you um, about here today to really help network marketers bring their business online because you guys, really it's all about leverage like can we just raise our hand like let's give a high five emoji if you want leverage in your life and in your business i know for me the reason i got involved and started learning um, and became obsessed with with learning online marketing strategies uh honestly it's been almost two years now you guys i became obsessed with it because as a crazy network marketer i've been in the industry for six years I was the mom running around, with, like tethered to my phone, doing three-way calls because that's what I was told I needed to do to build my team. I was never present, like with my children. Like my ch my children could be right here, but I wasn't present. Does that make sense? Um, and I was, you know, in the car on the phone. I was at home on the phone. I was in my closet on the phone. I was in the bathroom on the phone. Like you guys, it was crazy. Um, and then I was doing home parties for my team. I didn't personally ever have a home party. I never wanted to. But my team obviously had home parties, you guys. So as a leader, we have to support, okay? And if you are in network marketing and you sponsor one person, you are a leader. Don't sit here and say, oh, I have to have this huge team to be a leader. No, if you sponsor one person, you are looked at as a leader. You have to lead that person, okay? So running around doing um, three-way calls after three-way calls, I'm putting that wire down. Hopefully she doesn't bite it anymore. And I hit a wall and I said, oh my gosh, like there has to be another way. There has to be another way. And then a lot of people, I felt like I was being labeled as like the shake girl because shakes were one of the components to my last product. And honestly, I didn't want to, even though I was creating curiosity um, through utilizing social media, I... 
didn't want to be labeled anything around my company. I, I truly didn't. Like, I was fortunate enough to be taught network marketing or taught, um, yeah, taught how to do network marketing right from the get-go, meaning create curiosity. Like, there was no spamming on my part. There was none of that, like, ever in my six years. So I've done that part right. However, little by little, of course, if I was shooting out a testimonial, a before and after picture, or what have you, like, people knew that a component of what I had was a shake. So I was still branding my product in a way. And I'm like, okay, I want to learn attraction marketing. I want to learn brand branding, right? And so that's what I did, you guys, two years ago. And I've just become really good at it because I've had a lot of practice. And that's what I like to teach. You know, um, people are like, you're such a great marketer. You you you're so you have great copy and all this other stuff. Like these are crap. Like these are skill sets we learn, you guys, right? And that's why I turn around and I teach them. I teach them through my mentorship programs. I teach them through my VIP days. I, I teach them through, um, right now, I'm actually just f finishing up. This is our last week. I'm so sad. But I did a five-week uh, boot camp to unleash your brand with my students. And this is, you know, these are things that I teach. Um, and so I do have something special that I am working on that I'm going to open up to a lot more people and have it be more accessible for people to work with me. And, um, but I'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so first of all, who's building their business online? If you're building your business online, drop me a one. And also, you guys, if you know people that are struggling with online marketing and they are in network marketing, I need you to share this with them because it's only going to help benefit your friend, your teammate, smash the share button, show some love, and I'll make sure to give you a shout out as well. Okay, so I'm having ones come in. Okay, so you guys are building. Now, my second question, are you building it successfully? Like, are you having success with online marketing? Okay, and if you are, drop me, just say yes, you are. And if you're not, then just say no, right? I'm just doing a little poll so I know where you're at in your business, okay? So I see ones that you guys are doing network marketing, but are you doing it with success? Like, are you having major success with that or are you, have, are you struggling with it for, you know, a little bit? Um, and so what I wanna do is help give you guys three tips today. Now, I can't give you everything <laughs> um, in this live, uh, but I am going to give you three of my top tips that really help me. Okay, so Chrissy says no. Okay, Chrissy, what are you, what is the number one struggle, Chrissy, that you're having with building your business online? Let me know. Um, Alicia says no. Alicia, same thing. Let me know what you are struggling with um, in terms of your online marketing. I'm just going to turn this this way. Okay. It, um, it, Terry says one, yeah, she's building her business online. Terry, are you doing it with success? Or are you having some difficulties? Because when I sat down, when I first got started in online marketing, um, and there's a lot of different pieces to online marketing, you guys, like, um, I was looking to start my own coaching business. I was looking to start my own products and I was still in network marketing. This is what I like to, um, just have you guys kind of open your mind to, because even though I've been, I was in network marketing, I still had this like desire and urge to share my passion with the world and to still create an impact deeper than network marketing. Like I've learned something that I felt like I could package my knowledge and I could offer it to my community. Okay, does that make sense? So sometimes we sit in this little bubble and we say, you know, I'm just in network marketing, but if you have all like if you have desires to do more, be more, attract more, then there are other layers to online marketing you can do. You could start your own coaching business. You could package your knowledge, okay? You could in create digital products. Um, you could just do network marketing and offer tips and strategies and, and attract other network marketers. You know, that's the thing. People feel like they have to create a million dollars. And someone could say, well, Julie, that's easy for you because you were successful in network marketing. Yes, I was successful in network marketing, but I will tell you, sometimes when I talked about the success, it almost like damaged it with my audience because they looked at me and they're like, well, that's just not relatable. You guys, does that make sense? So don't feel you have to be an expert 
in everything, okay? Because you truly don't. You can literally just know a little bit more than the person you're looking to serve, okay? So you guys, that's huge to understand right there was a huge golden nugget because a lot of times we hold ourselves back. I have somebody in my branding boot camp, and she's amazing, but yet she has so much going on up here and I'm helping her to brand and I'm helping her to like bring her message to life. And yet she's like, well, I'm just a mom. I don't understand my brand. I'm just a mom and, and, and I'm, I'm, you know, I don't have all of these passions. I have the passion of family and motherhood and, uh, mindset. Like she loves, um, talking about the universal laws, law of attraction, all that stuff, right? And she's typing this in our group, and I'm like, you just branded yourself. Like, that is your brand. Um, talking about your struggles, your desires, your dreams, all of that, especially your struggles and getting vulnerable with it, like, that creates your brand. You're going to attract other moms to you that have the same struggles or the same fails or the same successes, whatever it is, like that's how you develop your brand. Okay. Um, and so we put such a crazy emphasis on it, but I'm going to get to that in a second, but here, so let me, let me just share with you the top three tips and I'm going to keep, I'll keep going. So number one is you want to have clarity on your market. Okay. And again, this is not something to get crazy about in terms of like, oh my gosh, what if I'm wrong? What if I'm not right? What if my market changes? Honestly, you want to not only gain clarity on your market, and that's okay if it changes. Don't gain just clarity on your market. Gain clarity on who you are. And sometimes that is like the hardest, the hardest question to answer. Like the hardest. Because we don't want to look inwards. Right, we we don't want to look within ourselves, and so sometimes we we might not know. What do you mean? Like, what are what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? Like, own up to it. What's your desires? What's your passion? What's your dreams? Whatever it is, what is that? Start jotting it down. You should have different categories, okay? Because this is how you know how to then who you are and who you're looking to attract. And here's a little tip for you: who you are is who you're looking to attract to you. It's so funny how this happens. When you write down your list and you write down their list and I'm you match them up, it's like pretty much the same people. You're looking to attract those that are like you. That's what, that, right now in my business, that's who I'm looking to attract. I'm looking to attract a, the female entrepreneur to me that I can work with and help them to develop their own business and their brand, right? Um, and they don't make excuses, right? I'm very driven, I'm very ambitious. But yet, they, they need, they seek clarity, okay? I'm, I'm telling you who my avatar is, like, right? This is what we call our avatar, okay? So I know my passions. They're health and wellness and fitness and my children and my family and, you know, God and all of this stuff, right? Like, that's my passions, um, building my network marketing business, building um, my products, like, right? These are all Passions of mine, marketing, sales, these are passions. So guess, and, and here's my personality. I, I uh, you know, I have baggage. <laughs> I have mindset stuff, right? Like I have stuff going on too, but guess what? I just know how to get over it faster. I just know how to get over it faster. Does that make sense? I don't dwell in it. I don't d dwell in the pile of crap for too long. I like release the bag of rocks that I have on my back. I just let it go. I don't look behind. I look forward. I've had to make a lot of tough decisions in my life this last year, okay? I switched network marketing company. I literally was making like multiple, multiple six figures, almost hit millionaire in my last company. And yet, most people say you're crazy and I said, well, so be it. I made this here. I'm going to make this over here and I'm going to do it way more fulfilled and happier and have my team winning and not just me winning. And guess what? That is exactly what is happening. I am growing 20 times, 20 X faster in this new company than I did in my other company. What I created right now in my new company in less than one year already matched what I was making in my old company. You guys, do you see it's drive, it's ambition. Those are the, that's my avatar. That's 
the woman I seek to work with. Sorry, men, I'm only working with female entrepreneurs. That's another thing. My avatar changed. I used to speak to men and women in network marketing and online marketing and coaching and consulting. I now only work with females. Why? Because I understand how to brand them. Okay, I understand how to brand you. And I understand the voice, okay? So you have to get, gain clarity um, because like I said, it's, it's about then developing a brand and that's two, is creating your own brand message. So number one is clarity on your market and who you are, who you are and your market, both, which is probably gonna match the same, okay? And then number two is creating your own brand message, okay? So what is your own brand message? Well, you guys, you want to stand out and you don't want to sound like everybody else. And there's nobody else out there that's going to sound like Julie Burke because I am Julie Burke. We might have the same ideas and the same messages, but I'm going to say it in a different way than the other person would. Does that make sense? Because it's coming from me and not that person. It's the same mentality as in network marketing. If um, I am training my team... But I have one of my leaders, like let's say, so Allison is one of my leaders. If I have Allison who is also training our team and I went first and then Allison went second and then another leader is Kelly and then another leader I have is Tanya. Like if we all did these trainings, guess what you guys? They're going to hear something different from every single one of us because Allison is not me. I am not Kelly. Kelly's not Tanya. Tanya is not Allison. Does that make sense? You guys, is this making sense? So understand your brand message. What do you stand for? Who are you? Right? Gain that clarity, who you are, who you're looking to attract. Then you know how to create your content. Uh, brand message, the quickest way to build your brand message is through doing Facebook Lives. Okay, um, so I know some people are be like, ah, Facebook Live. You guys, Facebook Live created my brand and other people that I work closely with, their brand faster than ever. Why? Because it, it, um, it like just magnifies the, the, the personal touch. It magnifies the way that people get to know you, like you, and tr trust you. So you guys are sitting in my family room right now, right? Like I'm showing you guys around my house. I showed you earlier like this this crazy mirror. Can you guys see this? This crazy mirror we hung. I am hoping and you guys this thing weighs a ton, right? I'm you guys, I could take you on a tour of my house. And it's like I'm walking my best friend through my house right now. So you guys know me, like me, trust me. And you're like she's so um authentic. She's so real. Um there's authenticity there. Does that make sense? So guess what? A text post, even though it's got emojis and all this crazy stuff and I'm playing around with all these like video apps and stuff, that's great, but nothing could magnify it like Facebook Live, okay? Nothing. Um, so uh, I'll give you an example. So I built my own personal brand. Like I told you, I was being labeled the shake girl. I didn't like it. Ugh. Right, I don't want to be labeled my company and I don't want to be labeled my product. So I go off, I start learning online marketing and all this stuff and branding, right? And I start attracting an audience and a following. And I'm like, this is, you know, this is pretty cool. Um, so what happened when I transitioned to my new company in June is I already had this raving, you know, following and these relationships start being built. So guess what? In my new company, I'm building teams in Australia. I'm building teams in the UK, in Canada, in the US, in New Zealand very rapidly. Why? Because I built my own personal brand and not just me, like my team is following suit. This is what we teach our team is to utilize Facebook in a way that is going to benefit you and your business and help us build 10 times faster, 20 times faster, 30 times faster than ever before. And so my Australia team came because I was branding myself. Do you think I could just pick up and go to Australia and start a team? Absolutely not. I'm a mom, I have two boys, like, hello, no. How do you think it happened? It developed through me understanding who I was, 
who I was looking to attract to me, and then going out there, doing Facebook Lives, you know, start developing my brand, you guys. And here's the coolest thing. Your audience will help you to develop your brand if you just step outside of your box and just start doing it. Like seriously, just start doing it. Don't even think about it. You guys, if you think about it, you'll talk yourself out of it. That's why Five Second Rule was a book that my entire team read. And you could get it on audio. It's by Mel Robbins. And literally, it is talks about how you just make a decision in five seconds and you just do it and you count backwards. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom. You want to know it's something that's really, really cool if you have little kids like me? I use this on my kids, you guys. So the one, two, three magic never worked with my kids. If you're a parent, you know what I'm talking about. And I know I'm getting like off base here, but this is just a, a mommy tip. I read the Mel, or I listened to the audio of Mel Robbins' um, book, The Five Second Rule. Amazing. And all of a sudden, I started, I'm like, I don't even know what I'm going to do, but I'm just going to count five backwards to my kids when they act up. And I was like, five, four. And honestly, you guys, I never even got past four. Like, I don't know what the power of five, four, three, two, one is, but they stop. It works so much better than the one, two, three magic. Like, I think I need to write Mel a letter because I'm just so like impressed with her <laughs> five second rule. <laughs> okay, test it. If you guys have kids, just test it. Use the five second rule on them. All right. So uniqueness, authenticity, Facebook Live, build faster, grow faster, I promise you. And now I, my Australia team is like blowing the frick up. Like I just highlighted Sharon this morning. Um, just amazing. And there you like, Australia is like rocking it. Okay. And I didn't even have to fly there. That's the coolest part about it. Um, all right. I'm getting off base. Three, three, three. Go, Julie, go back to your notes. Um, okay. And three, don't create an illusion for yourself. Meaning don't pretend that you're somebody else. Because I promise you, I promise you, if you do and you don't stay true to your voice and true to who you are, you will not be happy with the people that you attract to you. You won't. Okay, even if you try to elevate your presence into something you're not, um, you just won't. Don't give false expectations either. So a false expect expectation inside of network marketing could be what was given to me when I got started. Oh, you know what? You just come in and you build these two teams. You put like a rock star on your, your left and a rock star on your right. And you just like dial it home to a million dollars. Um, absolutely not. Like, so I don't give false expectations. You guys building a network marketing business, it's tough, but it's also very rewarding. There's a lot of walls that we hit, but it's also very rewarding. You know, there's team, there's culture, there's community. Like we have all of this. Okay. Um, and we have each other. Um, online marketing, I want to pull my freaking hair out sometimes. Honestly, when I'm working with funnels or I'm sitting there trying to write copy for my ads or copy for my email or what have you, you guys, I want to rip my freaking hair out. It is hard. Okay. There's a lot to know when it comes to online marketing. However, if you have someone that's gone before you, number one, a mentor, it makes it so much easier. And then number two, understand just like anything, success does not come easy. Money does not come easy. But yes, online marketing is very rewarding, okay? Um, developing your brand. It's, it, it, I mean, I wouldn't say it's easy because there's a lot of thinking. Like it's, it's a lot of like tough questions when you have to do some soul, soul searching on yourself and look inward. Don't focus on your weakness. You focus on your strength, right? And pull from others that might have like what your weakness is. So what my weakness is, I pull from my leaders in my company, their strength. Their, my weakness is their strength. Does that make sense? So I find that person, right? So we pull from each other. It's the beauty of having a team. I love my team. Um, and we have each other. So. Okay, or let's say, so somebody on my team messaged me and she's like, you know what? My sister said I should not be doing Facebook Lives unless, she said I should be doing videos because that's more professional. But it goes against everything that you and John teach. John is um, my upline leader. And I said, okay, but she is in corporate America. So her sister um, might want to get involved with her business. 
and but she is against doing Facebook Live, like totally against Facebook Live, and we teach Facebook Live because this is what draws us in, right? And she says, well, unless they're professionally done. And I said, well, yeah. Well, then she came back and she goes, you know what? Forget it. I don't care what she says. Like, I'm done listening to other people and I'm going to rock my life. And I'm like, good for you. But I did come back and I said, well, also look at the source. She is trained professionally in corporate America. So it's okay if she wants to think like that. But guess what? We have to deprogram her if she gets involved in this business. And one of my jobs would have to be to deprogram that mentality because Facebook Live is a beautiful thing because anything could happen. Lola was just chewing the wire of my diva light, for God's sakes, right? You guys were going like this for a little bit. Like, it's cool, all right? Um, my kids are not home, but they could, if they were, they'd be screaming right now. Um, but one of the beauties of Facebook Live is the art. Um, that anything could happen, the authenticity. And another thing is, I stand true where, yes, I have some makeup on today because I'm shooting videos for my um, upcoming um, products I'm launching, but normally this, I, I don't look like this, and this isn't even like that good. I'm usually in a car or just got out of a workout class. Like I still will stay true to who I am. Like I am a mom, I don't wear makeup every day. I live in freaking yoga pants. Like honestly, I'm sitting in that office and over the next wall here by myself most of the day, you guys. So I, I try, if I showed up dressed to the nines, full fledged like paint on my face, that's not me. I wouldn't feel congruent with who I am. Yes, it's nice. I like to get dolled up and pretty every now and then, and I definitely do when we have events and stuff, but on a day-to-day -day basis, when I'm just hopping on here with you guys and giving you guys tips and strategies, you guys know if you've been following me, I'm, I don't really wear makeup. Like, that's just who I am, and that's cool. So just be who you are, okay? That's all I'm saying is don't create this illusion for yourself because if you are subconsciously, you'll be holding yourself back because you won't feel like you're fully in alignment with who you are. That's all I'm saying, okay? So, um, you guys, I hope you guys got tips. I know a lot of you have been, uh, let me, I'm just gonna go through some of this stuff, okay? Um, yes, deprogramming is so hard. I get it, Alicia. Veda, you love this video, awesome. Smash that share button, girl, come on. Share, share, share. Uh, Chris, another rock star Australian leader on my team. I love it. How are you, Denise? Okay. Um, ba, ba, ba. Oh, Allison. Yes, lives are everything. I love you, Mama. Love you, love you, love you. Okay. Oh, well, there's my home. Uh, I just flipped this uh, camera. Let me flip it back. Oh, my gosh. Woo! All right. Hold on. You guys, I have this new phone. Oh, my gosh. Well, that was my home. That was my front door. I hope you guys like my front door. <laughs> Anyways, um, where was I at? Okay, I hope you found value, guys. I don't know what else to say. I hope you found value. I'm gonna come on this week and talk to you guys about um, batching your content. Um, I'm gonna give you five tips to help you batch your content, which content batching, bat, content batching means like, because what I see most people think is like, oh my gosh, what do I talk about in a Facebook Live? Okay, well, guess what? If you content batch, you do it in the beginning of the month, you have pretty much your whole month plan. It's really freaking cool. And so I'm gonna walk you guys through how to organize your content. Would you guys like that? If you want that, I wanna hear, I wanna hear. I wanna see some hearts, drop me some hearts, drop me some emojis, let me know if you guys would like to learn um, how to organize your content and, and like create it in batches. I mean, you can't create your Facebook Live in batches, right? But you can get clear on what you want to talk about, okay? Um, another thing is also, what was I going to say? Oh my gosh, I lost train of thought, guys. Um, oh, it's all the hearts. I'm losing train of thought. Hold on, stick with me a second. Stick with me a second. Um, I'm working on some stuff coming up. I'm actually working on a membership community. And this is the first time I'm talking about it right now, you guys. And here's the cool part. It's not going to be for everybody. It's only for female entrepreneurs. I'm sorry, guys, but it's only going to be for female entrepreneurs that want to learn more about all things online marketing. So whether you're a network marketer, a coach, a consultant, a creative, it does not matter. 
to be inside this uh, membership community. And um, there will be an introductory price. Um, I'm going to create um, a, a bundle every single month. Every single month will have a theme. So one month will be social media, one month will be branding, one month will be network marketing, one month will be um, maybe funnels and Facebook ads. Another month will be mindset. And then, you know, I don't have it all mapped out yet, but then I'm also going to have in and pull in guest experts every single month. I have some amazing um, top expert and influencer friends in this space and um, it'll go with the theme for the month. And then I'm just gonna like seriously create a global freaking community for fempreneurs. Like this is my passion, this is my goal, this is my vision for my business. And that is going to be my primary focus is just this community. And so if you want to get more information, um, just put list on the bottom and we could get you on a waiting list because I'm actually developing this out. I'll teach you visibility. I'm gonna teach you how to create more engagement on social media, uh, speci uh, specifically uh, Facebook. I mean, there's just, there's so much I'm going to add into this um, community and I'm super excited about it, you guys. Like, I cannot wait for this. Um, and it's going to grow some really solid relationships with people all around the world. Um, and again, it's only for female entrepreneurs and, um, I'm just, I'm super excited. I'm going to create some really fierce women in this world and bring your message to life. And that is like truly to my soul. That is like my core objective is to just, uh, unite and together all of us rise each other up. And that's what the community is going to be all about. And that will be my number one focus that I will be spending my time on. And, um, as well as then continuing to build my network marketing business and building up my team. Um, that brings me to my next thing. I'm also looking, and this only, this message right here, so hop off if you are, this is not you. I am looking to partner with five, five, that's it, just five, that's all I can really do right now, new partners inside my network marketing company. So if you are not happy or if you don't even know what network marketing is and you wanna join network marketing, um, make sure that you send me a private message. I don't want you to even comment here. You guys just send me a private message. Um, you could do it through my fan page here. You could do it through my personal page under Julie Burke, whatever whatever um, is right for you. you. And so if you want to learn more, you guys, I pre-qualify people I bring into my team. I don't just bring an, anybody in because I got to make sure that they're a good match for my team. Um, but five partners, and I have an intake form I need you to fill out. And so... Um, if you do want to put something here, just put form if you are interested or feel free to just private message me. Like I said, I'm only taking five. I'm very, very, very busy. I want to make sure that I put attention into these five people, okay, to help you grow your business. Um, and you guys, that's it. So thank you for hanging with me this afternoon. I know this is a little bit of a longer live, but make sure you stay connected with me this week. Um, it probably is going to be... Uh, more like Thursday or Friday that I will do the um, Facebook live about organizing the content and content batching. Um, so just stay close and I'll put, I might send out like an email that morning or I'll send out like, like a man, mini chat message. But anyways, you guys take care. I love you all. Be blessed. And I look forward to seeing all of you in the next training. Thanks. Bye-bye.